Welcome back to Westwood Engineering. Today we're going to talk about a spline super quick in about two minutes. Let's say I want to make an irregular shape. Uh, we'll just say that it is a heart. I'm going to show you how to both use a spline tool as well as use the mirror tool. First thing I want to do is grab a center line and I'm going to use this center line. That's what I'm going to mirror around. Start at the origin, drag it straight up. Hit escape to get out of that tool. Next I want to grab my spline tool right here where my cursor is flashing and I want to use just a basic spline. Click once to drop the first point of my spline and then just start working your way around the shape and you'll see that it comes pretty close to guessing what you intend. When you get to the end point, half of my heart, I'm going to double click. Uh, there we have a basic heart shape and I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now it's not perfect so I'm out of my spline tool now. The next thing I want to do is I want to mirror it and then I'll make it look perfect. So I click mirror entities. This asks me two questions. What do I want to mirror in the sketch? Which lines? This line. And what do I want to mirror about? My vertical line. The first thing I put in. I now have my heart shape drawn up. Now you'll see that I can draw this in and pull it in and make it more to my liking and you'll see that the mirror function actually makes it replicate on both sides. Really nice, kind of neat there. So there's what I'm going to call a heart. I can exit my sketch now and go ahead and extrude that. There's my basic heart. So that's a spline and a mirror. You can use this in a lot of different options and our time's about up. That's two minutes on splines and mirrors. Thanks for watching.